you men are going to have to gain some level of the discipline. There's no if, and, or buts about it. If you want to have a balanced life, a balanced kingdom, if you want to have be well-versed in your successes when it comes to wealth, resource management, you're going to have to have a level of the discipline no matter what dating strategy you use, whether you're monogamous or non-monogamous, you're polygamous or not. And you guys, excuse me, because I got this damn construction guy running up and down this damn thing for about an hour. But you guys are gonna have to have some level of deep discipline it's inevitable. There's no way of getting around it. If you guys do not develop a level of deep discipline, it will show up in your life and you will have a life of turmoil and chaos. Now, why is it so important for you to have deep discipline? Well, a lot of you guys fail to acknowledge that women can ruin your life. The older guys that watch the, this video, they already understand this. They've reached a level of maturity. I'm one of the few young guys that have caught on and listened to the older men to grasp this concept. The men my age and younger cannot grasp this because their loins are overcrowding their logic. They can't think past the small head. And so they get into situations and they get caught up in getting numbers, not realizing that the more numbers they get, the more they're putting their lives at risk when it comes to child support, getting set up, getting unwanted STDs. All these different types of things that can derail your life completely before it starts. This is one of the reasons why Napoleon Hill says, if men focused more on success, more than they focused on having sex, poverty, most men would not see poverty. It's taken me a while to grasp this concept, but I'm glad I'm witnessing it and I'm glad I'm grasping it at the age I'm grasping it at. So, if you don't have D discipline, you're never gonna have any goals or accomplishment. Women are a distraction from your success. You gotta spend money, attention, time, energy, right? You have to go out and talk to them, talk, be on dates, all those different types of things. There's nothing wrong with doing that, right? But you can't spend your entire time cold approaching when you're trying to be successful. Well, how about you let the success be your bait? And that's a whole different conversation. But think about it like this. Do you think Drake has to spit any game? Do you think a guy that's in shape making six figures has to spit any game. All he has to do is show up and present himself in a well-mannered way. And he's in there like swimwear. One of my famous sayings that I'm inventing, I haven't personally invented it, but I'm gonna make it popular because I'm gonna keep continually saying it. So they're gonna distract you from your goals and you're not gonna accomplish anything because you're too focused on having sex. This is the problem with the young male. If the young male could grasp this concept and get over it, he would be just fine. There wouldn't just be men. The majority of men wouldn't just be rich in 50s and 60s. They'd be men rich in their late 20s and 30s. 
you get a lot of unwanted pregnancy scares and pregnancies and STDs that you probably, in some of these things, if, you, if you're rank, raking up numbers, some of these things you can't get rid of, right? You're having, you're going raw on every woman. And so the situation occurs, right? You're like Usher in Confessions. You're married with a woman, but you have a side chick and you get the side chick pregnant. Lack of de-discipline. Smart de-discipline is condom sex or just not having a side chick at all. So what happens is guys get caught up in getting these numbers and they get they have a child with a woman they don't like or a woman they barely even know. And so that can, that creates a state of trauma and it creates a level of stability of, of instability for that child to be raised. She's a baby mother with no father in the household. You're paying child support, which is draining your resources, which is a thing by itself, is killing your wealth. If you look at the Forbes list, one of the biggest things that will kill a woman's wealth or kill a man's wealth is divorce. Paying for alimony, child support for 18 years. In some states, it's lifetime alimony. Lawyer fees. Outrageous amounts of money. And the STD is just, is just inconvenient because who wants to have sex with somebody that has uh, state, uh, one of the higher stages of herpes? The next thing, women can set you up. One of the things about Robert Baratheon in Game of Thrones, he was a strong military leader. But like Tywin Lannister says, winning and ruling are not the same thing. He spent the majority of his time sleeping with women and having vices such as drinking, or not drinking, well, drinking and hunting. Cersei Lannister, seen that, and plotted against him and got him murdered. You see these different kinds of things happen on a regular basis. You look at a praying mantis. A praying mantis woman kills the male as he's having sex, the weakest he's ever been. At the moment, he's the weakest. She kills him. You guys are going to get over this concept that women are angels and, and just these uh, halo type godly goddesses. You guys are going to have to break that program. These women are very capable of doing some of the things that men do when it comes to violence. This is why it's astounding to me how easily men go out to defend women they don't know, to take a woman's word from first at first sight from a woman they don't know, as if women tell the truth all the time. If human, it like humans tell the truth all the time. So guys, if you do not master your small head, your life will show. And you, just like this construction guy, will be in a perpetual state of annoyance unwanted BS. So this is, a, this is a great video for you guys to get it together, start thinking about these things because getting numbers 
it's cool, but that's just one part of masculinity. Getting a woman, it's probably more smart just to get married and have one woman or have two women. If y'all are all open and on the same page about it, don't lie, tell it what it is. If you want polygamy, tell it what it is. Don't get into a monogamous relationship and then step out. That doesn't make any sense. Let people know what it is and let the chips fall where they may. But even, even in those positions, you guys are going to have to have a level of logic and a level of de-discipline in order to see things logically and to see life logically. Because all things are capable of happening. That's my video. If you guys like, comment, subscribe. Share the video if you like the video. You guys have a good day, good week. See you in the next one, man. Peace.